Hey, what is up, YouTube? Thank you very much for tuning into my channel, Lando Tech. And boy, have I got some interesting news for you. In a previous video, I showed you how to make a green screen subscribe button animation using Microsoft PowerPoint. If you haven't watched that video yet, click on the card above to watch it now. And I do encourage you to watch it. It's short. It's under five minutes. It's probably shorter than Kevin Hart with no shoes. In this video, I'll show you how to take that animated subscribe button and incorporate it into your YouTube video using iMovie, like this. So I'm going to start off by opening iMovie, and you'll notice I'm already in the project where I want to add my subscribe animation. In my last video, I saved the animation as an MP4 file. So I'm going to locate that file and drag it into my media window in iMovie. You'll want to make sure you already have an existing video or picture down below in your iMovie timeline section like I do. Then I'm going to drag my subscribe button video into my iMovie timeline and I'll be sure to place it right above that existing picture. Next, I'll click on the video overlay settings button, click the drop down arrow beside cutaway and select blue green screen. Now, you notice you only see my button, bell, and mouse, and the green background is now replaced with the secondary picture in my iMovie timeline. You may find that the button isn't showing up exactly where you like it, but you can fix that with the crop tool. I'm going to click on the picture in my timeline, click the crop button, ensure crop to fill is selected, then adjust the position until I'm satisfied. That's what she said. <laughs> That is very inappropriate, Michael. Anyway, I noticed that when I press play, the speed of the animation is a lot slower than what I want it to be. So to change that, I'm going to click on the animation video in the timeline, and I'm going to click on the speed button. I'll then click on the speed drop down menu and select fast. That's way better. Now I'm going to add some sound effects by clicking on the audio tab at the top. I'm going to find the bottle cork sound, drag it down to my timeline, and line it up so that it coincides with the subscribe button being clicked. Then I'm going back into the audio tab. This time I'm looking for the coin drop on concrete sound effect. I'll be dragging that down to my timeline, lining it up with the bell click, then clipping off and deleting the last 2.6 seconds. Now, when I play it, it will sound and look like this. Thank you very much for watching my video, guys. If you found this helpful, please click the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe by clicking on my logo at the bottom right corner of this video. And don't forget to click on the notification bell so you can be notified when I drop a new video.